What's up you two? Welcome back to New Parenting Training. So today I got a mesh Wi-Fi extender from TP-Link. Now our house has two floors, uh, about 2,200 square foot or so. Now initially, uh, before my wife started working from home, like we never really have any issues with uh, internet connection you know, while we're on the first floor or on the second floor. Now, Days we have so much stuff connected to the Wi-Fi. I feel like there are some dead spots in our house now. And especially uh, for my wife, when she's working from home, a lot of time her laptop would drop her from the internet connection. So to remedy that, I got this, and hopefully this will cover the entire house to boost the Wi-Fi signal. So this AC1200 is supposed to be able to cover like 1500 square foot. Um, should be sufficient enough for our house. So today I'm gonna to unbox it and then gonna go test it out to see if it works as advertised. So anyway, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. All right, let's get on with this. You have the quick installation guy, and then here is the extender itself. Oh, so you just plug it into the wall socket. So it's a pretty simple design. Uh, there's nothing else in it. So yeah. All right, let me go test it out. Now, according to the instruction, to plug the extender into the power outlet next to the router. So I have the router here, I have the pucks here, and here is the extender. So what you need to do, just plug this in like so. This thing needs to be solid on. So right now it's flashing. So this light has to be solid first before we move on to the next step. Okay, currently it's solid. The light hasn't flashed for a few seconds now. All right, so next we need to install the app. There are a few ways to go about with this. Now you can go to the App Store or Google Play to download the app. You have to look it up yourself. Or if you have a smartphone, you can just turn on the camera. It will detect the QR code and you can go there via the QR code. Now, another way is to, they do provide you with a website where you can go set up using your web browser. There are multiple ways of setting this up so you don't have to worry about if you don't have a cell phone or the camera doesn't able to uh, scan the QR code. You can still do it via the web browser. All right, so now the app is downloaded and installed. So the first page you will see is you need to log in. If you already have a account there, then yeah, you can just type it in. If not, then you need to create one, create a TP link ID. Now I don't have one, so let me create one really quick. So you just need to type in your email and password and then reconfirm the password to sign up. And once you have logged on, then it will ask that uh, you add a uh, device. Obviously, I don't have anything here, so you can add, add, and then let's see, range extender, power LED is solid, yes, and let's see. Okay. So I connect the extender successfully. Let's see. Okay, it looks like I have to create a local account. Uh, let me type in the uh, passwords real quick. All right, so once you have set up your password, then you have to log on to your uh, Wi-Fi. And once you have done so, then it will go into the next page is says applying your settings. Okay, now that is finished, uh, let's see. Confirm location, plug the extender about the halfway. Okay, so everything is done. 
um, let me go plug this into a halfway point between the dead zone and the, and the router. What I would strongly suggest you to do is not only finding the middle point of your house between your router and your dead zone, but also just kind of go around and then plug into a different various uh, electrical socket to see how strong the signal is. I will show you where you can check that via the app in a little bit. Once you have found an electrical socket, plug the extender in, wait for the first three lights to finish blinking. After all three lights start flashing and remain solid color, now you can hit the location looks good on the app and move on to the next step, which is to connect to your router. Now, once your router has been connected, then your initial setup is finished. All right, so let's talk about the app really quick. Once you have add your device into it, you can click on it and then you can check to see if it has the connection between your main network and to your extender and to the stuff that you connect to the extender. So as you can see, there are two extended network. One says 2.4 gigahertz and the other one's five gigahertz. So the difference between the two is just that 2.4 gigahertz band provide coverage at a longer range, but transmit data at a slower speed. The five gigahertz is the opposite, where it provides less coverage, but transmit data at a faster speed. Keep that in mind, then you can switch back and forth between the two. Both of them are using the same password. So you don't have to create password for each individual network. Now, when you are setting up your extender, you might want to use the location assistant to check for the signal. So this way, like right now, it shows my extender is a little bit too far out. So this will come in handy because you need to make sure that your extender is actually able to pick up the signal from your router and then boost to the rest of the house. All right, so my final thought on this extender, uh, well, as you can see, I set it in between the, the stairway, between the upstairs and downstairs, the first floor and second floor. Now I set it here because this is the ideal location for this extender to pick up the signal. But the problem is, even with that, it will not really cover the uh, entire first floor. So that's why I'm having problems with, is the first floor. Now for the second floor, the router is sufficient enough to cover the entire second floor. So that's not an issue. Well, initially I picked up this because I was thinking, well, it can cover 1500 square foot and it's sufficient enough to cover my entire first floor. But right now it's not the case. So I think I need to buy something that's be able to cover even larger area, uh, maybe up to like 2000 square foot and see how that will fare. But right now this, if I'm close enough to the general vicinity of this extender, it works really well. Then again, I'm still having that spot in the first floor where I'm having issues with. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.